Do you use Calendly for your appointments or your meetings? Let me introduce you to the Calendly widget. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new form. So for that, we're gonna to head up to the top left-hand corner to create a form. And for this example, I'm going to start from scratch on the classic form. And to add Calendly, all we need to do is head to the left-hand side to our form elements, and we're going to head to widgets, and I'm gonna do a quick search for Calendly. And we can see it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it so that way it opens up the run wizard on the right hand side. And we can see the first thing that it needs is a Calendly event URL. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my Calendly and I'm going to use this very first one, the new member 101 console. And I can see right here, copy link. And this is the link that we need for Jotform. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link and we'll paste in this link right here. And we can see it is automatically populating for me in my form. Now we can see right below, we have name and email. So if we would like for our form to pre-populate into our Calendly, we can add those fields in. So over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose our basic form elements and I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my full name and then our email. Now, if we scroll down and choose our Calendly widget and we choose the widget settings, we can now see that it is populating to choose a name and an email because we added those form fields. So yes, we want the name to pull from the name and the email to pull from the email. And now we have some other options down below to customize or personalize how this widget looks within our jot form. So the first thing is gonna be our background color. So if you wanna change the way that that looks, you can change that to another color. Same with the primary color and the text color. If you want to hide the event type, you can. So right now it is hidden. So if we want to say no, we'll see it pop up at the top. Right here, we have my name, my picture, and new member consult one-on-one. -on -one. So I kind of like how clean it looks without it. So I'll go ahead and say, yes, we can hide that event type. We can also hide the landing page, which it's currently doing. It's hiding the GDPR banner currently. And if we wanna change that field height, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and update the widget and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and publish and give this a try. We'll open in a new tab. Let's go ahead and fill this out. And let's go ahead and scroll down. We'll choose a day and a time, then next. And we can see that it is pulling the name from the fields up top. So that way they don't have to enter it in again. Now my form has another question where they would like to have this one-on-one -on -one call. So let's go ahead and fill that in. We'll do Zoom, schedule event. We are all scheduled. We'll submit our form, good to go. So let's head over to my calendar and we can see right here, Julie and myself, we have a 3 p.m zoom meeting date and it's as simple as that if you have any questions about integrating jotform with calendly through the new calendly widget let us know down below in the comments if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video i'll see you next time